In a recent interview, Paul Stale claimed that Kareen Martins reported being a victim of human trafficking. Obviously, any statement by Paul is best taken with a grain of salt. But this could be very real. Meanwhile, Kareen does not have custody of her kids, and is having to jump through hoops and follow a lot of rules. Some 90-day fiancé fans are disturbed by how nonchalant she seems on social media, however. Kareen Martins is dancing with joy. Not over not having her kids, of whom she reportedly lost custody in late 2021. But she is continuing to live her life, and took to Instagram to post a dancing video. Just as when she posted about binging Stranger Things on Netflix earlier this year, she did not receive a warm reception. Commenters weren't entirely clear on what they felt that she should have been doing or posting instead. But critics were all but unanimous when they declared that Kareen should not be doing whatever this is. There are three aspects to the criticism that Kareen is receiving. The first is simply that a lot of people do not like her. That is unsurprising. We have all seen alarming videos, albeit possibly missing context, that appear to show her mistreating Paul. There is also an expectation of performance on social media, particularly from reality stars. Even non-public figures will sometimes immediately record themselves and post at their most raw, painful moments, we all know that grief is almost never a 24-7 thing. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. But in the age of social media, when someone has cause to be sad, that is all that many followers expect to see. Finally, there is a toxic undercurrent in our culture that essentially wants to see people suffer if they haven't earned joy. At its core, we're talking about the Protestant work ethic and the ways in which this brain rot twists how people view the world. And with Kareen, this combines with society's expectations of motherhood and condemnation of any woman who falls short. There is this idea that Kareen or anyone who is in a bad situation should not do anything but work to get out of it or, at the very least, not show themselves to be doing anything else, of course, as we all know, if she posted tearful selfies with self-pitying captions, she would also get hate. There's no winning, here. We're not Kareen's biggest fans, seriously, check our years of posts about this troubled pair. In fact, most who say nice things about her are just pitying anyone who is with Paul. Kareen was extremely young when Paul got into contact with her. Combined with his weird behavior, many feel sympathy for her. A lot of people are also pretty reluctant to trust Paul or the things that he says about his estranged wife. Just a couple of months ago, authorities were searching for Pierre and accusing Paul of kidnapping his own son. It's always hard to say what Paul could possibly be thinking. But it's always possible that he was doing a PR blitz to improve his own public image. Simply put, Kareen is probably doing all that she can to get more time with her sons. But even people in terrible situations will sometimes smile and dance. That's human nature. And, as we noted, if Kareen didn't post at all, or if she posted sad content only, people would give her hell for that. 